the beach is everything. You know, it drives our economy because we want people to go to the beach. And a lot of that is surfing related, but equally it's just because it's a wonderful place to be. Byron Bay has had a history of coastal erosion over many decades, but in terms of the significance of the current event, they haven't seen that since the 1990s. Headland bypassing, particularly at Byron, is an obstruction like a headland that will block sand and starve that sand from the other side until the wave conditions are right to move it around. Cape Byron, which is to the south of the main beach, is the most easterly point on the Australian east coast. It's quite prominent, it sticks right out. What we're seeing at the moment is the blockage has been released, the sand is now starting to move around, but it hasn't made it up to main beach where the area of concern is. It's currently in an eroded state because of the trapping of the sand that would normally have been reached Main Beach. We don't really know how quickly these systems move and it's driven by the kind of annular weather conditions that we might have at the moment, but it could take weeks, months and maybe even years depending on the wave conditions for the beach to recover. It raises the issue that we live in a location, if you're living on, on the coast, you have to accept that everything isn't steady state, it always doesn't look the same, that the conditions on our beach vary from time uh, to time, and we need to understand that variability and learn to live with it in a sense. <laughs>